In this video, we're going to look at agency problems. Suppose an entrepreneur gets an idea and she hires people to work on her idea and she buys inventory, all investing her own money. Her idea is a big success and soon sales are coming in. She keeps the profits she earns and she's highly motivated to work on making her company more effective and efficient. Five years later, business is booming and she has an initial public offering. She raises $10 million and decides it's time to move on to new projects. Now the company is owned by thousands of stockholders who hope the company's profits will continue to rise. A new professional manager is brought in to run the firm who reports to the board of directors. Now there is a separation between who owns the firm and the agent who controls the firm. Agency problems are problems that arise due to this separation between ownership and control. Though they both want the firm to be successful, their interests may not always be perfectly aligned. For example, shareholders want high total shareholder returns, which means stock growth and dividends. They also want a good risk-return ratio, which means they may be willing to take a high risk in return for high profitability. Managers might want high pay and benefits, good reputation, job security, or other things like power and status, or maybe the ability to change the world. When owners and agents' interests aren't aligned, it can lead to unanticipated and undesirable consequences. If managers want high salaries, it can lead to fat compensation plans. If managers want status and power, it can lead to pursuit of growth instead of profitability. If managers want lower personal risk, it can lead to over-diversified companies. And if managers want corporate jets and long vacations, it can lead to wasteful spending. So how do we align the interests of stockholders and managers? We can make managers hold lots of company stock, but that can make managers under-diversified and even more risk-averse. We can give the board of directors control over the CEO's pay and termination, but most boards do not meet frequently, and members may be less familiar with the firm's operations than managers, and they may feel beholden to the CEO. Corporate governance is a complex puzzle that uses interrelated strategies to try to reduce the likelihood and severity of agency problems.